The conflict in the Middle East is escalating to new alarming levels, and the U.S. and allies launched a retaliatory strike against Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen. A Houthi spokesperson says 73 strikes hit five regions of Yemen, killing at least five of the group's fighters and wounding six others. President Biden said the strikes were a direct response to, quote, unprecedented attacks by Houthi rebels on commercial ships in the Red Sea, and that he would not hesitate to direct further measures. Britain's defense minister said results of the attack are still being assessed, but early indications are that the Houthis' ability to threaten merchant shipping has taken a blow. Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas have all condemned the strikes, and Russia has requested an urgent meeting of the U.N. Security Council to discuss the military action. So joining me now for more on this, give us a little more insight, is Bradley Martin. He's the director of the RAND National Security Supply Chain Institute and a senior policy researcher at the RAND Corporation. Bradley, uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, what more can you tell us about the strikes, what the purpose was, and was the purpose achieved? The, the purpose of the strikes was to disable the Houthi ability to track and engage shipping which they've been doing in recent days to uh, an alarming degree, uh, it had reached the point where uh, they, it would just was beyond toleration. Uh, I doubt that it completely disabled their ability to carry out, the Houthi ability to carry out strikes, but it certainly was a blow and it certainly demonstrated to both the Houthis and to Iran that we are in the area and we're capable of responding and that uh, and can continue to do it if, if need be. So uh, no surprise, uh, Iran, uh, Hezbollah, uh, all condemning uh, this action, um, Hamas, of course. But I, I'm wondering, you know, what of the reaction that we're seeing in the region and what might that reaction signal about the prospect of the U.S. being swept into a wider conflict? Well, it's certainly a possibility that that could occur. It, they're, uh, they are going to react. They definitely will feel like they've been uh, insulted, they've been damaged, and they're going to try to respond some way or another. With that said, uh, the, the escalation occurred because the Houthis continued to attack shipping, and the United States at some point had to respond. The United States and its allies had, had to respond. So uh, there, there was certain, there's certainly a risk in doing something, but there was also a considerable risk in doing nothing except carry out defense. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is, this was something that really needed to be done. And it's it's uh, probably, it's always hard to predict what other people are going to do. But my suspicion is, is that the, uh, the Houthis will understand the threat and, and perhaps restrain themselves to a greater degree. Now, it certainly seemed like up until now, there are definitely some actors in the region that thrive on chaos, but there mm -hmm. didn't seem to be a desire to explode into a wider conflict. What are some of the factors that may stop this from spiraling out of control? Well, for one thing, it's a fairly limited engagement. We, uh, the, the peak installations, uh, equipment was attacked. People weren't necessarily directly targeted. Another thing is that uh, there are, <laughs> for every response that one of those actors could, could generate, the United States and its allies can also respond. Mm -hmm. So uh, the knowledge that uh, escalation, punitive response is possible may be enough to at least make them think twice. The other thing is, uh, we retain capability to defend shipping. We re retain capability to carry out strikes. We have certainly intel. So I, I think the, the message should be clear that when we said there would be consequences, we meant that there would be consequences. And so that's what's happened. So, Bradley, though, there's an awful lot uh, going on in the region. There are more U.S. troops arriving um, in the region. What keeps you up at night? <laughs> what keeps me up at night is is the possibility of escalation. That is definitely something that we want. We have to think about. We don't want to go to war with Iran, but at the same time, we can't uh, we can't uh, just yield to inaction. Mm -hmm. uh, 
we at some point something had to happen. This is a measured response. Uh, I believe it will serve the purpose it was intended to serve, which is to let people know that uh, to let bad actors know that we're capable of responding. Uh, the possibility that that uh, somebody will go further and the shipping gets attacked in other places certainly exists, and we have to be prepared to deal with that. All right, uh, Bradley, thank you so much. Thank you.